Today we're making my Thanksgiving turkey. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we're making my Thanksgiving turkey. And I'm going to tell you straight up, uh, you're going to notice, or you might notice, that there are what looks like two different turkeys in this video. That's because there are two different turkeys in this video. Here's what happened. Okay, so my Thanksgiving turkey was made for our big uh, family get-together, and through a series of unfortunate events, uh, the Thanksgiving turkey got carved and eaten before I had a chance to get pictures of it. Long, long story we won't go into. But let's just say that I had to make another Thanksgiving turkey. So, I made the same exact turkey. Now, you're wondering where this recipe came from? Well, this recipe came from Bon Appetit. It is their dry brine turkey, which I think they put out this year. Uh, I did do my own variations on it, but it's basically their recipe. I will link it down below, but it's really good, and it does not dry out. And I can say I've made this multiple times, and it's really, really good and super, super easy to make. So let's get started, in case you're wondering why I'm here doing this headshot, because I had to do this for a big family get-together, and it had to be done at certain, well, you can understand the reason why, but let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is we have to make our dry brine. The dry brine was easy to make. You combine salt, then I added garlic powder and also onion powder. Your herbs, I use sage, thyme, basil, and just mix those together. Now, all the ingredients are listed down below, and you can figure out how to mix them up, because it's fairly straightforward how you do that. But the cool part about this is there's no oil, there's no butter added to this. It's really good. I mean, it's really simple. Now, the tough part. The tough part was actually separating the skin. There's a membrane between the skin and the meat. You want to get under that membrane so you can actually get your dry brine. Or I personally, I thought considered it a, a rub mixture, but it's called a dry brine. I had to do some research. You want to get that onto the meat. So I separated it. I separated the skin from the meat, making sure to break through that membrane, and then it's time to actually get that that brine in there. You want to make sure that you cover this really well. So you get the dry brine inside the turkey, you get the dry brine underneath the skin of the breast, you get it on the outside of the turkey, and just coat it. Coat it thoroughly. Make sure that it is all over it. Front, back, inside, outside, all over it. You know what you do now? You're, you're going to leave it. You're going to put it in the refrigerator and refrigerate it for about a day. They say up to three days. All I can tell you is I refrigerated mine for one day. On the day that you are to cook it, you want to cook your turkey for the size of your turkey. Now in the Bon Appetit video, they used a really expensive turkey. I, I did not. I did not use a really expensive turkey and my turkey was so good. In fact, I can honestly say it is so good because today is the day where I actually made the second turkey. So yeah, it is really good. In fact, in a few minutes, I'm about ready to have another turkey sandwich. Uh, so then I put the turkey in the oven. It was set at 350. Find out from you, for your turkey how long you should cook it. My last turkey was a 12-pound, uh, 12.93-pound turkey, and I cooked it for about three hours until it was completely done. You want to make sure that your turkey is done. Once it's done, you will let it rest for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, then carve it and it is so good. Now, some things I can tell you about. When you when you do the turkey, when I put it in the refrigerator, don't cover it. You're not covering the turkey at all. You are leaving the turkey exposed, and you want to make sure that it is on a sheet tray, a tray that has a lip on it because the juices will run outside of the turkey. Most of it looks like blood, but we won't get into that. It will drain, and you'll also notice that underneath the turkey, it is up on a cooling rack so that way it's not down in those juices. It is amazing. I thought for certain this turkey was going to be dry. It is not dry. It is even, it's not even like mildly dry. It is so good and it's so easy to bake. Now, in their video, they did not put the turkey in a roaster. They just roasted it on the pan. 
The first chicky that I did that with, I did not like that. In fact, halfway through, it was the skin was cooking too fast, so I actually ended up putting it in a roaster anyway. So the second time I did it in the roaster, it works out much better and it just is so good. I mean, I was amazed at how good this is. It is juicy, it is tender. I just absolutely love this turkey and I think you're going to love this turkey too. It looks absolutely beautiful taste it so good. I would recommend this turkey for everybody. So if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. This was one of the best turkeys I have ever had. It is so flavorful, not dry at all, and I don't think that you could possibly mess this one up. And since I've now done this repeatedly, and I can honestly say no matter what the size, it worked out really, really well. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications that way you can know when I have a new video coming up and check out these videos which I picked out just for you.